How are you all? Um, I, I actually wrote this about, um, about 20 years ago on Bloomsday um, after a night drinking in book, a different book, but Book Whaley's Lounge, <laughs> lounge Bar or, or Wine Bar, I suppose I should say, on Leeson Street. Um, uh, and on the way after the various wanderings around the city during the course of the day, and on the way out, there was an altercation with the bouncers, not with myself, but with uh, two individuals who were trying to get in. This was back in the days where if you wanted a late night drink in Dublin, you had to drink that particularly uh, uh, obnoxious hooch at very expensive uh, prices. Um, so it's, a, it's called Useless. Scum punk puke hooligan came upon a bare head Bare as old leather, a mirror cracking face, razored eyes crossed. The night was yellow, pressing down, already unbearable, and some blood-stained gent was giving him the wild, drunken stare, holding a fist aloft as he groaned. All right there, head, said Puke, coming down. Altered. Beer dribbling down the no longer human face, the other muttered hoarsely, Thrown up, effin' lynch mob turned me out. Solidly, Puke dragged him up and forward by his stinking browned vest, turned him round, Jesus and mess, watched by two towering culture in western mountains. <laughs> then, catching hold of Stephen, dead loss. He bent towards him, ignoring the bouncer tosser's stares, sounded a cautionary note and lifted his head. Stephen dead loss, diseased, sleazy, threw his arms around the owner of this new face, cold and shaking in his gut and gurgling, blessing and cursing himself at length. And as the bouncers moved back in, got him up on his pins and snatched up his stale coat. Puke hooligan steeped himself, an insect more than a warrior, but bold, moved smartly. Barred me bollocks, he said sternly, wondering which way might now be home. For this, O oh sweet country, Jesus, is the genuine thing, a body and soul in blood on the ground, the sick on their knees. Shut your eyes, gents, two minutes. Don't trouble yourselves with blabbering old fools like these. You have yourselves a ball. They veered sideways up the long, low street, came to a wall where they paused, and puke wiped the spit from the other's split lip, listening to the blare from the various vino joints. Christ, what a mess. Two young, overfilled pissheads riding the storm. Wankers! Mafia! Tried to fucking kill me, they did! Would have knifed me! Itching to kiss a smoke, would you? Puke slipped a hand into the other's vest, hooked the grave nails and lighter, gathered his hands into a noose and lit. That crumpled, battered face and swollen upper jaw were all bright cast now, like the realisation. So this is middle age. Still, a smile when the smoke reached his lips. Thanks very much.